Like if that's gonna be irritating, I can. Yeah. Uh, we are no no. We're, we're, okay, we are back. Um, I was talking about Final Fantasy and uh, the stream crashed. I apparently have not ironed out all the the kinks I need to for things. So the second half will be done in Hangouts because it's available and it works, and I can do it off my laptop. <laughs> Um, and I mean, the other computer booted up in time, but I was already in process here. So we're going to do that. So my point in all that, and, and, and I was in a tangent of loving uh, tactics, uh, that I started looking up tactical games for there. And I found a couple, um, myth adventures. No, don't start playing it. I just want to see your name. Um, and then tactics made. And I both played, uh, while I was waiting for things to compile essentially, um, this week. So they're both little tactical games. Uh, Myth Adventures is much better done. Uh, is this Tactics Hero? What is this? Hero Tactics. I don't know what that is. Uh, maybe that's what I was playing. Uh, whatever. I don't know. Uh, but it was... I don't know. It was all right, um, but I got to a certain point, and I was like, I'm kind of done with this. Because you, you equip your guys, and so once you have a full set of equipment, you promote them, and that's how you build them up, and then eventually you have to evolve them. So it's got this whole grind built into it, and it's got a pay system to help circumvent that. <coughs> so despite everyone being idiots and saying that's what they want, oh, which I'm doing this on HTKB, aren't I? Shit. Okay. I'll transfer it over. Um, I thought I had fixed that. Um, okay, and then Tactics Maiden uh, is free. It doesn't. It does, it's not built in with that. It's got an interesting uh, mechanics for like moving and attacking and whatnot. But um, it's free to play up to a certain point, and then it stops and says, uh, "Anything past here, you, you we have to charge you for essentially." And I I actually enjoy that because that means it's it's got a built-in demo, essentially. Yeah. Um, and games don't do that anymore. Like, they don't do demos because they're a separate project. They're expensive. Um, but if you do, like, the first level of your game as a demo, I think that works out. <sighs> I think that's pretty good. I think it's a good way to go about things. Um, is there anything else? Oh, yes, you were going to talk about... Um, Oh, yes, I've heard that you talked about Fallout Shelter when I was gone on vacations. I hate and you. We both downloaded Fallout Shelter, and then I left to go on a trip. You, you didn't have to go into all that, just yes, talk about Fallout Shelter. I know, I'm just saying that I, I it was kind of integral to the story is all, that I played it while I was sitting in the airport, and that was about as fun as it was is like hey I'm here in this place where I have absolutely nothing better to do than to play this game or even when I was on the plane because you could play it offline obviously but um, yeah after that I was kind of just like meh I got to the point where I think I, I just loaded it up now because I was just kind of curious as to what was going on with my shelter and um, everyone's dead maximum radiation Oh, I'm sure that everybody's dead, and there's no um, there's no resources again. I mean, basically everybody died from cockroaches. Cockroach attack killed my people, um, and yeah. So basically, after all that, I was like, "Meh, I'm done." So you only played it for like one day, then? No, I played it for like a week, maybe. Okay. Uh, clarification: When you stop playing it yeah did you leave it running and then just come back to it every now and again or did you shut it down uh or did you try to shut it down and then come back to it i mean i try to shut it down but it seems like it still runs doesn't it You're, okay so that's that's something kevin and i discussed when you you go to shut it down you have to exit the menu and you have to backspace uh you have to exit the menu where ask if you want to enter which vault you want because you can maintain multiple vaults and then you have to backspace out of that until with using your phone not the app until it asks you if you really want to exit this application and then it still runs for like 90 minutes awesome yeah i was gonna say because um I, well because you running on android i'm assuming mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Yep. So I run I run mine on the iPhone where you can like manually kill the apps or whatever. So mm -hmm. I guess I just assumed that, you know, if I killed the app that it was closed and then I think a couple of days later I came back to it and yeah, stuff had happened and things weren't left the way that I had left it. And so I was yeah. like the hell's going on here and so yeah i didn't particularly like that that much it's kind of like it, it made you have to like be engaged in it all the time like you couldn't stop playing it otherwise things just went shit basically it's a babysitting app yeah that's what it is it, i mean it's, it's tamagotchi on your phone no because well i mean tamagotchi well tamagotchi's local one uh this is server based this is, i i related a lot more to animal crossing um Except for Animal Crossing, like, they, they self-maintain. Like, super old school, though. Like, the original OG babysitting game, Tamagotchi, where you gotta pick up the poop, otherwise your animal dies, sort of thing. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's true. Um, but that's like, oh, hey, I gotta feed you because you can't get to the food and everything yourself. Like, this is ridiculous because they're making the food, they're making the water... Um, they're they're generating the power, but then they can't reap it themselves. Right. It's just stupid. Like, um, and then basically every time you get yourself to a good equilibrium, um, like something's off, and it's off just enough that you have to keep grinding grinding up for your vault. Yeah. Um, so you're yeah. in this right. ever expanding thing. You're never gonna hit that good point, except I think when you get to two hundred people. Mm -hmm. I think I think because because that's where it caps out. That's where you can maintain properly. I don't think I got any further than like thirty people. I think about and that um, that's the point where I was like, eh. I had thirty six, almost forty. I think. Um, I was I was about ready to do another birth uh, birthing cycle, and <laughs> I was just like, no, I'm not fucking doing this anymore. <laughs> um, uh, so. Yeah, and it's, what's funny is that all the big people, all the game, all the professional gamers and everything that, that do it, like Rooster Teeth and everything, they all seem to have fallen off about the same time. So mm -hmm. I don't know if that was like a paid period that they had to go up to or or if like everyone just happened to get disinterested around the same time. Yeah, I'm not sure. It, it, it was a good time sync for, you know, being on the plane, being in the airport, and then after that it kind of ran its course, and I was like, I'm good. Thank you, but no. Yeah, I'm at the point where I really don't need more time syncs. I've got programming problems, I've got game design problems, I've got YouTube problems off the ass. Um, yeah. uh, speaking of which, um, I, I finished, managed to finish streaming The Bridge, which was a pu puzzle platformy type thing. Um, and then I was like, but I'm not sure if my computer's done crashing or not. So I had to like grab another game real quick. One that I thought was going to be short and, and broken up that I could do. So I grabbed on kite and you yeah. said you'd seen, seen it at some point, right? I just had seen you logging in and out of it oh, that's right. times, but I don't know anything about it. Yeah, that was, that was fun because I was trying to readjust the window settings and steam is funny. Once you've told something you want it to launch windowed or full screen, it, it likes to believe you. Um, mm -hmm. But it's a little point and click adventure. I'm, I'm going to start calling them pack games. I don't know if that's a thing or not, but um, and pack games are notoriously frustrating. Like either you love them and you're like, oh, I can't wait to find out this mystery, and you played Mist and King's Quest and things back in the day, or you're generally like. Let me click everything, and oh my god, I don't know. it's I'm closer to the latter stage. Like uh, Deponia about killed me. It was a three part ser game series, and it was literally like, can I click on this pixel, this pixel, and like you just kept looking for things, and then you had that time where you just had to see what you could put together. Um, and what's really frustrating is that the, these games in general will make you put things together in a certain order by taking one thing and putting it on the other. And you can't do it the opposite way. Oh, I see. Um, and that happened to me in Chapter 2. I think I spent about a half hour trying to figure out what to do. 
uh, and it was make a set, make a little boat. Like I had a piece of bark, I had a twig, um, and then I had a piece of paper, and I couldn't. It was understandable that I couldn't make it using the piece of paper because I still had to uh, copy a song down. I figured that's what the paper was for. Um, so I finally found out where to get the song from. And I did that, and I was like, okay, now I definitely make my boat, right? No, no. Well, what if I put the boat on top of the paper? No. What is going on? So I talked to the guy, and he's like, you better find another way to get me that paper. Uh, I was like, well, I want to make a boat and send it to you, but I can't do it. So I started doing all this other stuff, looking everywhere else. And sure enough, I looked at the walkthrough, and it's like, do that, do, make a boat. <laughs> like, so it's use the paper that you wrote the song down on to make the boat, right? Yeah, so like, cause you got that's got to be the sail. Yeah, uh, <laughs> so the song so, can still be written on it, but still act as the sail, right? Yeah, and and but that's the frustrating thing is like I had tried that, and oh. it didn't work, or I misclicked something. Oh. <laughs> or I wasn't in the position. Maybe that's what it was. I wasn't in the position I needed to be to put the boat in the water once it was made. No, no, because it makes the boat and puts it in your inventory, and you put the boat in the lake. Uh, but I try. I swear to God, I tried exactly how it said to. And the most frustrating thing is, is that after I read the walkthrough, it worked on the first time. So, yeah, it just makes me feel like an idiot. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Um, so there was that, and then halfway through chapter three, uh, the other night, it finally crashed, and I hadn't saved it. So I had to quickly recap everything that I had done in Chapter 3 so far. <coughs> and then I looked at a walkthrough because I was already lost. Um, and it turns out I had to walk by this thing I'd already walked by. But I didn't do it right, apparently, because the thing that it was supposed to happen didn't happen. Uh -huh. um, and then... So, but the point is to figure it out so we can move forward with everything. Um, but you try everything you can on your own. <laughs> um, so anyways, so I did the other part of that. Um, and now I'm on chapter four, and there's only five chapters. So I've got to figure out what's going on in these next couple chapters. And I'll probably get to that by Friday. But I've got videos to edit for Gaming Division. And... Like, unboxing stuff for board games. Um, and that's... that's I've been trying to do that today, and I've been distracted, because I did play Minecraft for a little bit. Uh, my friend's kids got on, and they built a little house next to the town I made, um, which is not where I would have wanted them to build, but it works. Uh, and then I started, like, flying around, and I had, I turns out I had to, like... I had done a fresh install on my computer, so I had to rinse all my wave points... And I went and looked somewhere, and I started using admin powers to find something. And then I took myself out of admin powers, and I was like, I'm going to do this. And I started digging <coughs> on top of this labyrinth thing that's, yeah, yeah. that we found in my friend's basement. Like, she had built, dug down in the mountain, and she built this big tunnel. And then at the end of it, like, we found a, a bed in mine we were clearing out. And then she saw these bricks in the ceiling. She's like, I don't know what these are, but I didn't want to touch it. And so I was like, I'll touch it. So I went up into the thing, and it turns out it's this big, uh, like, building that was generated in the world. And, like, there's libraries in it, and there's stairwells, um, <coughs> and there's this little temple area. Um, so I was like, this is amazing. I'm not destroying any of it. So I just left the, the staircase that I built in, and I made... May have made like a couple of staircases because I got trapped. Um, <laughs> so there's a couple easier ways to get around. But other than that, I want to go back and I want to dig it all out. Um, but the problem is that it's very obviously underground. So I went, I, I tried doing part of it, and the part that I did seems isolated. So I'm not sure how to go about actually doing this. Um, so I just said, fuck it, I got other things to do. Um, uh, but if nothing else, it gives me a new place to mine and look for iron, uh, which the world desperately needs to make rails to go everywhere. Um, so eventually, maybe one day. Uh, I've been doing more of like doing stuff in creative mode to make sets 
bad summaries over in Jam on Toast. So, which I've got to film at least two episodes of that this week for Dominions of Eslin and Twilight Chorus. Uh, and then hopefully I can take some time and get caught up on Heroes of Awesome because we've got into some really good episodes there, and I want to make sure that I'm staying on top of that. Wait, is this for, like, watching shows or something, or...? Uh, bad summaries, because um, I don't know if you remember or not, but when we started uh, We Are Movie Club, uh, Charlie and I came up with ideas for shows, and mine was bad summaries. So when we'd watch a movie of the week, and then I would film about a one-minute summation of the movie uh, as done from an idiot's perspective. Okay, okay. <laughs> so it was basically Caboose from Reverse Blue. That's where the idea came from, anyways. Um, so, like, I, we would watch uh, White House Down or something, and I'd be like, and then there were helicopters, and the president didn't have his burrito, and it was very sad. And it'd be things like that. So now I'm doing that for these D&D shows nice. <laughs> that I'm watching. <laughs> Um, so it's really funny when, like, to me, when they have funny names, like, uh, I did, I started doing it for Geek and Sundry, and I fell off because I was trying to get caught up on Heroes of Awesome. Um, so I figured if I can consistently get caught up and do shows as they come out, it'd be better. Yeah. Um, yeah. but I'm so far behind, uh, on, uh, Critical Role because they're three-hour shows. Oh. Yeah, so after I get caught up on Heroes of Awesome, I'm gonna go get caught up on Titan's Grave. And then um, uh, after I get caught up in Titan's Grave, I might go back to uh, Critical Role. But I've also been doing Twilight Chorus. The guy who d and for Heroes of Awesome, Warren Scarlet. We, we are such a tangent right now. Um, <laughs> also does a couple other campaigns that I want to try to follow and do bad summaries for. Um, but, yeah. So, okay. So that's what that's... That's why Minecraft is not a game. It's a it's a tool that you can play with and make games with. Um, I can see that. Yeah, it's software. It, 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 there's, you can't argue with me that it's not software. So visual software should be the acceptable term that we that we should be using for what we call video games now. And I tied it back together. And fuck you, Windows 10, for making that sound. I didn't want that sound. I was going to say, I was like, what is that? That's Windows 10. It's very musical, and it's very annoying. Nice. Um, I don't like it. I wish it would stop doing that. Um, I need control over my sound. And I don't care about Cortana, either. Don't you dare start, because I said that. Cortana? No, don't you do it, either. Because I don't know what this computer's thinking. No, nope. okay, so as long as I don't sign with the Microsoft account, I'm fine. Okay, so, <laughs> Jesus, where were we? We were talking about on Kite, and are we at, is that it? Are we at the end of it? Oh, what we, we played something today, didn't we? Oh, we played Dawn of War. We tried to play Dawn of War. <laughs> we did play. We definitely didn't true. win. We, we played Dawn of War, we tried to play it well, and that was not accomplished, but... Yeah, we played two-on-two two against standard uh, AI computers, and I thought, on, honestly, I really thought on Soulstorm that the AI was uh, broken. And maybe <laughs> on the disc version it is, and on Steam it's not. Maybe they fixed it for Steam. Um, but, uh... So next time, maybe we need to go against some easies, and then if we whoop up on them, then we can go to standards. That's probably a pretty decent idea, especially since I am, like, not super great at the game anyways, Sam. Um, and I, I thought I was decent at it, um, but I guess I'm out of practice, because, like, with Tau, normally I can spit out a couple stealth units and sprawl real quick, and they have an advantage because they're, they're invisible. Um... Which usually leaves me vulnerable, but usually the if I sprawl and get those resources quick enough, then I have enough uh, to get some defensive troops out pretty quick. Yeah. Um, and we just got overran fast. Like, I'd never seen Chaos Marines show up that quickly. Oh, I know. You were, like, swarmed, it felt like, like 30 seconds into the game, it felt like. Like, it happened yeah. so fast. It was super fast, um, and it, it it definitely wasn't thirty seconds because I had not not quite. I mean, <laughs> no, no, no. I get I get your point. But I had <laughs> I had like 
I had all my uh, my drones and like three or four uh, scout teams out there. So I definitely had enough time to build those. And I guess that's enough time to build one Chaos Space Marine unit and then send it over to us. But <clears throat> like, it's just one of those games. It's like, it's why StarCraft's so popular is if you program it out and you let a computer play it, there is a mathematical way to play it perfectly. Um, and I honestly, I wouldn't mind seeing two computers play like an RTS against each other. I think that would be interesting. Um, There's no so, point, would you play StarCraft? Yeah, why? Do you have StarCraft 2? No, I don't, but I mean, I'd consider picking it up maybe. This my... broke is a joke. Um, <laughs> Um, what was I going to say? Uh, you had the original StarCraft? No, I think I just, I downloaded, um, I think it lets you download, like, a demo version of it through Battle.net. So, yeah. that's, yeah, that's basically all I have. Okay, um. And I don't know how much, how much does that cost, anyway? I feel like, what, it's probably like 20 bucks or something like that. What, StarCraft? StarCraft 2? Yeah. It's yeah. more than that. Um, especially if you count the expansion. Um, uh, yeah. Hold on. Play free now. Is it Blizzard.net? Is that the website nowadays? I know they've changed uh, it. Yeah, Battle.net. Maybe it's Blizzard.com is what I'm trying to shoot for. Maybe. Because it used to be, Battle.net used to be a website, now they actually just have an app for it. Um, games. Why are there two? There's an Ultimate Evil Edition for Diablo. Okay, so there's a new StarCraft in the mix for that. Okay, so... Oh, the Legacy it, of the Void. Yeah. Um, Blizzard's such an interesting company to look at. Like, they're, I mean, they're obviously successful, but some of the things they do are very strange to me. Um, so, yeah, Heart of the Swarm is 1999. Wings of Liberty is 1999. Okay, here. So complete, they're about 20 bucks a pop. Okay. Complete collection, yeah, it's 60 bucks. Where are you seeing complete collection? Is that including pre-ordering the next one? I... Don't know. I would hope the so. other twenty because it's. You said it was nineteen ninety nine for for each of those. So that's forty. Yeah. Um. Let's see what this says here. Yeah, it's for all three games. So you actually, right now, would save twenty bucks by doing the uh, the complete collection. Ah, that makes sense. Well, what's this digital deluxe edition? This is why I hate. Companies, yeah. once they get successful, they just turn to assholes. Basically. If you already own the standard edition of this product, you can buy the digital deluxe content for a reduced price. Oh, that's so it actually will come down from 100 bucks. Um, and I don't care about digital deluxe nonsense, as long as they play the same. Right. Like, I'm serious. I would go back, like, we, you and I, like, I, we, I can make it happen. We could go back and play the original game. Um, it wouldn't cost you anything. Oh, what, just the original StarCraft? Yeah. Uh, we could do that in Brood War. For reals? Yeah, we can make it happen. Um, talk to me later. Okay. Um, I should probably even, shouldn't even said it, but we, we, can, we might, uh, we'll, we'll figure, we can figure that out. Um, I don't know if that's something you'd even want to do, though, because it's such an old game. Which one? Uh, StarCraft. Just the original StarCraft? Yeah, that and Brew War. Well, I mean, like, if it's free. Yeah, okay, we'll talk about it then. <laughs> um, um, so, I mean, that's I mean, that's kind of where our head's at. Like, I don't, I'm don't, i not really in a place where I want to drop 60 bucks on a game. Though, I will admit, as much as I don't like to, um, 60, 60 bucks for those three games is actually a good deal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 20 bucks a pop for something like StarCraft, uh, I think is an excellent deal. What I don't like is paying 60 bucks, especially for games like I know nothing about. 
Um, I think it's a monstrous overprice. Uh, it's you you just don't get what your you don't get your money's worth. Um, now that said, games are the cheapest, even at the overprice. They're the cheapest uh, dollar per hour entertainment value you could have. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, even if you watch your favorite movies over and over and over again, like I used to. Yeah. yeah. Um. So. Um, Tux is a happy kitty now. Yes. Does he look happy? He's purring, <laughs> so I guess. <laughs> he's he's very much like Joe the cat. He'll uh. He'll let you do stuff to him. <laughs> He's, he just looks, he had this look on his face. His little eyes got kind of like squinty. Yeah, he he's like, like what's happening? Um, Why do I let him do this to me? Oh, that's just a little animal. Yeah, my cat would have had a fit by now. Yeah, that's I've got a, I've a couple of those too. House now. Uh, and he just comes right back. That's the funny bit is if I throw him on the bed, like cause sometimes I'll over the head him, um, and then he just comes back to the bed. Like, are you gonna pet me now? Like, yeah, I'm back. A lot of times, like I I used to throw him and then I'd pet him just to make sure that he's not in trouble or let him know he's not in trouble. We're just talking now. Um, anything else related to gaming? <laughs> Future anything gaming. This. Oh, there. We're play. So we'll t we'll look into a playing StarCraft. Um, yeah. Uh, is there anything else that you want to play? I mean, we're talking about playing Orcs Must Die. Um, Which we thought looked similar to Dungeon Defenders, right? Yeah, it looked, it looked real similar. Because um, you set traps and you fight the bad guys as they come in. You try to stop them getting to a central, central point. Yeah. Um, you when, when are you realistically going to look at getting your, your uh, controller? Um, I will... I'll probably pick up that one that was supposed to be in stock on Tuesday. Okay. So I'll, I should have it by next week. Okay. So, man. I'll so we'll look it. at uh, we'll we'll look at going through a series of something, um, yeah. and we'll talk more about that offline. But uh, hopefully, we can get you more involved on the channel. I want to be, and I am going to try to be more reliable. Okay. I feel like we, we, we hit the end of the show a while back and we're in an after show talk and I feel very awkward having these conversations <laughs> out with the internet um, because I don't mind, but I would imagine that most people would mind and maybe you just don't give a shit either. Um, but let's go ahead and end the show here. I Do I have an end card on this computer? I don't think I do. <laughs> God, Maybe I should just fake it. And Google Hangout Toolbox doesn't even want to open. That's my bad. I should have opened it earlier. Oh. But, oh, hold on. I might have one. Oh, look at that. If you want to, you want to see what else we're doing, go ahead and click the annotations, and it'll take you to our other channels. Thanks for watching. Bye.